What's up guys? Welcome back to the MSR Workshop. So, I know it's been a hot minute since I've released a video, but today's video is going to be a really cool one. And I know I say that every video, but I really think you guys are going to like this one because I haven't seen it done very much on YouTube. So stick around. <music> On today's video, we are going to be creating some artwork on our laser, but not just any artwork. We are going to be making this, and I will show you how you can laser and then color fill a cool picture like this. All right, so once we have opened up Lightburn, the first thing that we're going to need to do is go on the internet and find a good piece of artwork that we are going to use. Now, the piece of artwork that I'm going to use is this black and white line drawing that I found of Wolverine. Now, if you can find a black and white line drawing, that's gonna be the easiest to laser, but if you do find something with shading, there might be a, just a little bit more setup required to do this. Now, the first thing is gonna be right-clicking, and then we're gonna go down to Trace Image. And if I zoom in on here, this is gonna show me where everything is kind of traced out. And if you're happy with the auto trace, whoops, right click, trace image. If you're happy with the way that this has traced it, then just go ahead and hit okay. Now this turns it into a clean line that it can engrave. Now the first thing is we're gonna go ahead and ungroup this. So go up to the top to your single man and hit ungroup and then that will allow me to take parts of our artwork out that we don't want so i'm going to go ahead and highlight that regroup that because i don't want to have to uh, worry about missing pieces if i move this around so next i'm going to go ahead and hit preview now what the preview is going to do is it is going to show me where my laser is going to cut so right now under my cuts and layers this is set to line I don't want it set to line, I actually want it set to fill. So on my particular laser, I have an 80 watt laser, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it to 200 millimeters a second at, oh, let's go ahead and do 17% power. I don't need it super powerful um, because I'm gonna do a bi-directional fill, also a cross hatch. So it means it goes back and forth, but also up and down. And because it's going over it twice, it will cut it a little bit deeper. So if you set your power settings too high, you may notice that your laser engraving is quite deep. So now, once I've set that to fill, I can go back over here to preview. And now you can see everywhere that this is showing up black, that is where the laser is going to engrave in our clear acrylic. So next, I'm going to go ahead and set a box around this just because we want to get this nice and framed in and to use our piece that we're framing in as much as possible we can go ahead and enlarge our artwork just a little bit we'll move those box in there a little bit stretch that a little bit so now when i go ahead and hit preview it's gonna do this, which I don't want it to do. So I wanna set my outside line to a different color, and I'm gonna define this as a line instead of a fill, so this knows where to cut. So now, you see all the black areas is where it is going to fill, leave all these white spaces which are gonna be clear. These are what we're gonna be using to paint fill. So we'll go ahead and hit okay. On my line settings, I wanna go ahead and hit that to maybe five millimeters a second. And we'll just go ahead and bump this up to 20% power. And I want it to make sure I do the fill first, then cut it out. 
Now let's jump over to our laser bed and get our piece of acrylic set up. So in our laser bed, because my laser has a camera that I added to it, it makes aligning and setting up all of this quite, quite nice. But I want to go ahead and move my artwork to an area of this piece of acrylic that doesn't have anything on it because I have used this acrylic before and it's got some other test cuts on it. Now next you're going to see the laser move and this is just making sure that it is going to go within the parameters of where I set that outside line. And as you can see I don't have it perfectly aligned. Let's try that again. So make sure all four corners are going to get on my piece of acrylic and that looks quite good. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn the laser on and we are going to get to cutting. All right guys, so that part is done. As you can see, all of the light areas, they're kind of that white color. That is where the laser actually engraved in there. So the first thing we're gonna do is those are gonna be kind of our shaded areas on our Wolverine picture. So the first thing is we are going to paint these black. Now, one thing is important to note is that when you are painting, you want to make sure that one, if you use a bunch of different colors, your paints are compatible. The next important thing to do is always hit your pieces with a very light coat of paint. You don't want it like super heavy because if you do, one, it's gonna take forever to dry, and then you're gonna have puddling. See this area right here, maybe just a bit heavy. But one thing I did is I go back and forth in both directions, that makes me make sure that I've gotten everything covered. Now, if you wanna help this dry a little bit faster, go ahead and use a little blow dryer and just hit it over. Once that is done, then we start peeling off areas that we are going to paint. Now, obviously, none of the colors that we're painting are translucent, so it really doesn't matter which order you do it in. Um, just make sure that the area and color that you're doing, you've gotten all the areas peeled off all at the same time, because you really can't go back over an area with another color of paint once you've peeled stuff off, just because you'll have paint splatter um, in areas that you kind of didn't want.
Okay, so now that we've got everything painted, this is the fun part where we get to start peeling off all of the clear areas. Now, one thing you can do is peek on the other side just to make sure that you've gotten all the masked areas off. Because once you peel this off, you can't go back and paint stuff because you'll get paint on our clear areas that we don't want. All right, guys, you ready for this? I think that turned out pretty cool. Now his skin tone, if I find a better spray paint for maybe a little bit darker skin tone, this has just a tiny bit of pink in it. So it's not white, but it is a little bit hard to see that versus the white on his claws because these are actually two different colors. But overall looks really good. You can see just a little bit of imperfection there with the yellow. I've had problems with yellow spray paint in the past where the, the yellow tends to orange peel just a little bit where some of the other colors don't. I don't know if it's just the way they have to make yellow. But yeah, that's it for this project, guys. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. All right, guys, that's the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now for other ideas that you can do with this lasering on paint fill is actually do plaques. Now you can do words on here that you can fill. Um, one of the plaques that I did was I actually lasered on the back of a piece of clear acrylic, painted it with gold, and then set it over the top of a piece of walnut. Now the cool thing with clear is you can see whatever wood is behind it. And I'll leave a picture of that um, above that you can see what that looks like. But there's so many different things that you can do with this. You can also do this on black mirrored acrylic and then just do it on the front and paint fill with the gold and that mirrored black background. It looks really cool. But if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, be sure and leave them below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for all the videos that I drop. Until next time, guys. Thanks again.